In Dealing With Debt, a new way to pay your rent on a credit card. We have Ted Rossman, Senior Industry Analyst at CreditCards.com, taking a closer look for us. Hello to you, Ted. Hi, Angie. The upside of paying rent, of course, on a credit card is it buys a renter some time. But what do you think about this plan? I view the built MasterCard as more of a gimmick. You know, put it this way. This could work for you if you spend a lot on rent and if you're the kind of person that likes to juggle multiple credit cards. But I definitely wouldn't make this my only card. There is a lot of fine print associated with earning rewards. And while there are some enticing opportunities to transfer to airline and hotel partners and save your points towards a down payment, I would argue that for most people, they're probably going to be better off with another option, like maybe a no annual fee, 2% cash back card, or even just paying your rent through other means, like a bank transfer or a check. What's a better plan to pay rent and not build up debt? They actually make it impossible to carry rent as debt from month to month. So I do like that, but it also brings up the broader question of why would you put rent on a credit card? I mean, I think there's really two main reasons. A bad explanation would be because I want to carry debt or because I need to carry debt. That's going to be really expensive. And and as I said, this card is really not for that. So we leave that aside. But then on the reward side, That's where I just think your upside is fairly limited, that even if you are earning 2x on rent and you're getting those 4,000 points a month, you know, those are probably going to be worth something like 40, 50, maybe 60 bucks. So, I mean, it could add up over the course of the year, but there's a fair amount of delayed gratification here. If you're saving those for use towards a down payment, that could be many years in the future. If you're saving it for travel, that too could have some hoops to jump through and some delayed gratification. In general, I think a 2% no annual fee cash back card gives maximum appeal and flexibility. I would say that not all landlords are going to accept those kind of cards, especially without implementing a surcharge. And that's part of the the deal here with um, rent is that it's often hard to put it on a credit card. We always appreciate your being here. Thank you so much, Ted. Thanks for having me. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.